Good morning, guys. If everything goes right, today is officially supposed to be my moving day to West Mar Student Lofts. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like inside and what my room looks like and all of that stuff. Um, I gotta take my nails off. I only literally like I'm trying not to show it. But I only have the two nails left on my hand and I take them off. Um, I would say what I feel so far about the apartment that. It is unorganized, and nobody has been answering the motherfucking phone, which is really annoying. The only time they answer the phone is when something, when they want their money or something, or when something is, like, going wrong. I was supposed to move in originally on September 1st. Today is, really, today is September 3rd. Um, at September 1st, they didn't give me a move-in time or anything. I had to call them. Last minute, they gave me a move-in time and all this other stuff. Um, then I can't move in until 5 p.m. today. Which is really frustrating because i have to get my stuff from a moving company and all the other stuff like i am in atlanta and i'm from california so my stuff is just not automatically ready you know so it's really frustrating but we'll see how today goes um today's my moving day if they don't change my day again i'm gonna have to try to see whether they will like prorate my rent or anything but so far, like I said, it's really unorganized. I had to keep calling over and over again before they would call me over and over again until I signed the lease and until I got the papers and until I paid the money. After I signed the lease and paid the money, they stopped answering the fucking phone. Um, I know I got a message on my due to COVID. I might not have the upgraded furniture that's supposed to be in my apartment. So I might not get that until who knows when. I might not get that stuff until... um. I'm sorry, I might not get that stuff until like um 30 days in because I said it because of COVID it's gonna take like a month in and they'll come in and change my furniture and I don't want to have to change my furniture while I already have everything set up. I think that's very inconvenient, but that's what's happening right now. Um I feel like I paid too much money for this, so I'm gonna try to get it prorated for the days that I couldn't have been in there. Um, I say I got here August 15th. I'm not moving in until September 3rd. Um, for you guys who don't know, I go to Clark Atlanta University. Um, so I came here for in-person classes. They put our classes online. Like, everything's been so fucking unprofessional since I got to Atlanta. They put our classes online. They said till September 1st. They extended that to September 13th. And they're saying if teachers want to teach in person, they can, but they don't have to. Only one of my teachers is teaching in person. And I could have stayed in fucking California for this and just dropped that one class. But now I'm already here and now I already have a lease that I can't get out of, which is really frustrating. You know? I don't know. I feel like it just changed my whole trajectory of life for no reason. Like, at this point, it was just for the freshmen and sophomores to come back, you know? like a waste of time and even some of them were all online too it was a waste of time and a ploy to get more money from us i feel like so if you guys are wondering where i have been for the past like two to three weeks i guess i guess it'll be three weeks now um i have been staying with a friend and i don't really think i'm gonna give like <laughs> a story time or anything like that on that but that's what's been happening but today is my moving day and we're gonna see how it goes man um hopefully my stuff will come hopefully things will be okay but i'm just right now um i'm not gonna do anything i'm gonna try to take like my last couple nails off so i can move in and then I'm going to pack my stuff. I'll show you guys that. And then I'm going to um, get dressed, eat, and hopefully I'll bring us closer to the time. Because right now it's only about 11 a.m. and I can't move in until 5 p.m. Um, we'll see how this goes, man. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, so I tried to swap off these nails, but it didn't work. Um, 
any work at all um i'm gonna show my tiktok video that i tried to do that um that's the next up on my moving day it's officially 1 p.m i have four hours to get ready um that's kind of the first little mishap in my day but i'm hoping everything else goes smoothly i'm about to eat and pack so i'll show you guys that and thanks for being on this ride with me i'm nervous <laughs> but we're gonna say everything then goes smoothly guys like we're not gonna be scared yeah i pretty much did that shit man yeah so i didn't really get to record because i had to get dressed and condense all my stuff back into the amount of stuff i brought and which was kind of hard because just a wide amount of breath which is kind of hard because i brought three suitcases and a backpack and i did all that stuff back and i brought stuff here and i pretty much did it i got three suitcases a backpack and a bag of cleaning supplies um the cleaning supplies is not gonna fit in there but that's all right um yeah let me show y'all my bad okay guys so i'm back i know like I, I showed you guys like all that stuff earlier as you can see i'm in the same spot <laughs> um i went to westmar um i got there at five o'clock i got there early actually i asked somebody like what i was supposed to do if i could move in she said i had to wait there was gonna be a table she didn't like give any like direction i'm like where's the table at am i like lost or something she's like oh no i'm gonna set the table up in a minute she took heck long to set up the table not to 5 15 we got in line at 5 30 i get in the line she takes my card or whatever my id um i get my id i'm waiting she told me to wait over there i'm waiting somebody calls me and tells me i can't move in yet for like another two hours because maintenance is still in my room fixing it or whatever so pretty much she told us it'll be two hours got really annoyed and i just left she said i could come back tomorrow or i could stay and wait two hours i i just left man um because she said it might be done in two hours so i'm like it might be like that pushes my moving day back four days like what are you talking about you know and like i'm just like whatever man and i didn't say whatever I, I went off because it was ridiculous um then she's like um she called me and told me that the apartment is ready or whatever um but by that time i had to call the storage people or they called me told me to just dropping off of stuff and i had to tell them like i have got a place to live right now like you know and pretty much i had to tell them like to go then she called me and like the place was ready but they've already like left and i'm pretty much going to get charged for that and i'm pretty much really annoyed by that but move in tomorrow but they need a 24-hour notice before they can drop stuff off so we'll try again tomorrow man see how that goes she said 10 a.m i guess i'll be there at 10 a.m um yeah right now i'm I was really frustrated earlier. Like, I was, like, venting. Like, I was so upset. And, like, and then on top of that, like, there's stuff that's still not done in my apartment. There's not a microwave in there. Um, my door is still not fixed. The only thing she fixed was the pipes. And they have to come in and fix those things tomorrow and throughout the week. So, I'm really frustrated by that. Like, I'm like, should I just not move in until Wednesday at that point? Like, that's what I asked her. She said, no, you can stay in there at that point. Um, They'll just come in around you and fix that. That sounds really inconvenient. Like, you know what I'm saying? but whatever right now it's about eight thirty nine or eight fifty three, something like that um i'm about to get some food and see you tomorrow i guess we loaded up the car with all my shit and everything so <laughs> i don't even have any of my stuff in here anymore like like this shit was inconvenient <sighs> i was like crying earlier but i wasn't gonna do that on the camera but not that like you shouldn't it's just i don't know i was just too frustrated to pick up a camera at that moment um but i'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll see where i am with westmore i must say i've been there before and it's like they renovated the outside of it and it looked really nice and it looked way nice than i seen then than it did look than it looked before from what i remember the outside of it we don't know how the inside of it looks but yeah but i'll check back in with you guys later after i get the key and i get into the room like I said, there's still stuff not done in the room, so I don't know how comfortable I'm going to feel actually moving in, and there's going to be men in there fixing stuff, you know? 
um it's sounding really ridiculous at this point good morning guys it's the next day clearly um that's why i look so tired <laughs> um it's 9 30 i'm supposed to be up there by 10 a.m try to pick up my keys person that's taking me um i have to go do something i have to go run an errand so yeah, we're gonna be up there hopefully they'll be back soon we're gonna be up there early 10 on the dot or like 15 after um so they can just give me my fucking key and i can go you know and the store should be going to come at 11. I can't cancel them all again because I already owe them money at this point. So now, when they come, even if I can't get a key, I have to just take this stuff. So I'm kind of like pissed at this point. Okay, so I went back to Westmore. Um, I had to wait in the line because a lot of people had complaints. I guess you see my nails and still didn't get fixed. Um, but I had to wait in line because a lot of people had complaints. Um, when I finally got to the line, she had no idea what I was talking about. She had to leave, come back, all this other stuff. I got my key and everything and I got in the room. Today's just not been that great, honestly. I didn't really like to show you guys that because, I don't know. I couldn't, like literally, it was like too hectic. Um, the elevator to get to my room was broke. When I come into the lobby, I have to go all the way to the back. All the way out to another building all the way to the back of that and like down the stairs or some shit like that i can't really remember it and like all the way down to my room and anyways i get there my key's not working she tried to fix it twice and my key's not working i get inside the room finally she comes with us and turns out the key just the the fob is broken um the manager the property manager i guess she's really nice she's trying to help I don't know whoever owns this building like it's really fucking shitty i get in the room it looks nothing like how it's supposed to look the amenities i'm supposed to have is not in there my top shower is chipped i have to wait until thursday for that until in the microwave all this other stuff um i get in there um yeah i have to wait thursday like for everything to be fixed in my room um the furniture in my room is wrong I have to wait a month to get the new furniture. It's just really ridiculous, honestly. And now I have to come back. I got, and at the same time, the storage company, I'm not gonna say the name of it, but there's a storage company. They're dropping off my stuff or whatever. And I, they didn't have Broly, so I couldn't go pick it up or whatever. And he, like the, he was like, are you gonna get it? I'm like, at this point, like, I'll just carry it. Like, I'm like trying to just get the stuff, you know? And then, I didn't realize stuff was that heavy, honestly. So he walked with us or whatever. Um, but he had an attitude. I guess I could understand why, because I kept changing like the day and stuff. He had an attitude. Um, he's like, he does not gonna go down the stairs. So he just left the thing at the stairs. Then my friend had to help me take it down the stairs. And I don't know. I put all my stuff in the room. And I left because, like I said, the shower had a crack in it. And I need to take a shower. I was tired. I left and I came back to like the place I've been staying to take a shower and to lay down. So now I'm waiting for her to tell me, to call me when the key fob is fixed. She said she can't do it right now because she's the only property manager on the building, on the floor, in the building. She has to wait for another guy to come back from a funeral and fix it, which I don't think he's going to come back if he went to a funeral today. He has to come back from a funeral and fix it. Then some other stuff, you know, like that's a lot of shit. And it's looking like I'm gonna need a car to live here. Like, honestly, it's it's looking ridiculous. Um, honestly, honestly, I'm wanting out of my lease right now. I'm annoyed. It's ridiculous. I've paid to pay all this money and none of this fucking stuff is working and it's fucking annoying. Um, you know, my friend's annoyed because we got there, we had to wait heck along. He had to carry all the stuff. The moving company wouldn't do it. Which it is what it is, man. I've used the moving company before and they carried the stuff upstairs for me before. I don't know if the rules changed because of COVID. I don't know if he just had an attitude with me. It is what it is. I just 
I'm tired. I'm tired of it. I guess I should have stayed there and moved, but I'm like, I don't have the right bedding. I have to clean stuff, but I can't clean the tub because it's broken. Like, I don't even know what to do, you know? Um, and you're going to put a new one in there. I don't really know what to do. Um, I need to go. I guess I could go to Target and get some more cleaning stuff. And then I guess after that, I could unpack my box to see what I have and try my best to make it work. Try my best to be happy, I guess. But I'm not fucking happy. Even my room is all the way at the bottom. It's on the first floor. It looks like I'm in a fucking dungeon, y'all. It looks like I'm in a dungeon. Like, I have to go all the way to the first fucking floor. Like, like slavery times. And I'm paying hella money to stay here. And I'm just frustrated. I can't. I can't. Honestly, I'm really frustrated. Um, I didn't meet any of my roommates today. I honestly put that shit in there and I left. I came back here and I took a shower. Like, I guess I couldn't take a shower there because the bathtub was chipped. She said the water worked, but it was chipped. Like, it wasn't, I'm not saying it was a little chip. Like, it was inside the tub, guys, and it was a big chip. I should have took pictures. I really should have, but I didn't. I, when I get back there, I need to take pictures because it was ridiculous in there. But I'm going to take pictures when I get back in there. But that's what's happening right now. I feel like I'm just giving you guys a story time. Like, I must actually be showing you guys. Um, when I get back in there, I am going to take pictures. I am going to take a video and all that other stuff. But I didn't do any of that. I didn't show you guys how hectic it was. Like, none of that. And I apologize for that. But it is what it is. I'll show you guys when I get back. Okay, guys. It's like the next, next day. Um... <sighs> I woke up this morning. Okay, so let me tell you guys what happened last night. She never called me back. I tried to call her and then the office was closed. So I haven't been back to my room yet. And I can't be back until the, like the key fob is fixed. Um, I'm gonna ask for a new room or out of my lease or something. Cause I'm fed up at this point. I don't know. Um, but I just stayed here where I was already staying and all this other stuff. And yeah, I just did what I usually do. So this morning I got woken up early real early now he waking up early we got woken up real early um so i forgot to record for you guys but i went to dd's Dee Dee's and i got stuff from my bathroom and a little bit from my room i'm gonna show you guys that then we came back and went to walmart and i got more stuff from my bathroom um then we walked back and because we had forgot something then we came back got some water because i was tired um it's only 11 o'clock and i've done all that stuff so i'm sorry i forgot to record it i keep forgetting to record stuff guys but i promise after this i will not forget anymore i promise um i got one of my nails off and had to have help and that just happened right now so i had two nails on for like a long and this one nail left will not come off so i'm trying to get that off but i have to wait a couple more minutes but yeah that's what's happening right now Talk to you guys later. Bye. Alright, so this is the beginning. Well, this is where the leasing office is. I just put the front in it. And this is like the start of like this long hallway. Literally, I don't even know if this video will sync because it's going to take me probably longer than five minutes to get there.
So now I have to go to a different building. I'll start it here. Just enough time to change the video to something else. Well, let me not forget stuff. What the fuck? Alright. shit they lied about. There is no flat screen TV in here. Oh, there is a microwave in here that she said wasn't in here. But let's see if my room actually works today. Oh, it does. The wrong appliances. That's my closet, that's hecka small. I haven't done anything in here because I haven't been back in here. This is dripping, I don't know why. This is the hole in my bathtub. I again don't know why. This is like literally the Ligma unit. So I'm like, this is what I'm telling you. This is the Ligma unit. I still don't know why that's dripping, so I don't know much about that. This where I'm at right now. Oh, there are pipes in my room. It just looks really fucking classy. I don't know, there's like a crack house in the 80s for real. That's how I'm feeling. Yeah, it's not really much to show. These holes are covering literal cracks in the wall. Literal cracks. It's not even a new room at this point. I need to be out of this. 
Maybe it's me, but I cannot find a washer and dryer in here anywhere. These doors look like where it's supposed to be, but it's locked. This one is also locked. This is just a pantry, so there seems to actually not be any washer or dryer in here. I really want to put emphasis on all these spiderwebs all over this place. Like, real emphasis on it. A broken drawer all the way down here it's like behind my boxes but this broken drawer all the way down here the mattress i'm expected to sleep on it's filthy like mattresses are usually filthy but you usually can't see the filth stains on them like this is disgusting mm, the floors Bunch of cheap paint, even the chair. It's terrible. Um, oh, yeah. Let me not forget this wall with paint all over it. That light fixture doesn't work. There is a little pipe in my room. Well, you can see that there's spider webs everywhere. Like, nobody has come in here to clean this, as if COVID doesn't exist. Those blinds are broken. I shouldn't have a list this long. This wall, like, it's literally caving in. It's not even on the same part as the other ones. It's like it's caving from dust. What the heck? Oh, this part too. That's cool. The door where it looks somebody punched it. For what reasons, I don't know why. This is my tub. Looks like nobody's done shit to this. This rod. Just paint on the wall. All of this. The the floor. These cabinets are fucking broken. That's where a toilet paper holder is supposed to be. It's not there. That's where a toilet. I want us all to know that I'm not joking. Like, this is beyond ridiculous. Oh, the sink doesn't stop leaking. It's filthy.
I told you guys how they messed up the room or whatever. So now I'm going to show you guys what I did with it while I temporarily stayed here, I guess. Now I have a new room. And I gotta wait for them to. Well, I don't have to wait for anything because I can officially move into there now. But it's gonna be fucking difficult. Um. Yeah. This is what I did here. That light turns on. Um. Alright. Yeah, that's what I did with it. I'm getting a new room now. Yeah. Okay, so since I'm gonna be showing you guys everything, let me show you everything. I'm like moving out of this room pretty much because it was just fucking shitty. And nothing was like really right. Um But I am gonna show you guys that's all my cleaning shit. That's all some random shit, honestly. Uh, I don't even know what that is. or something but it's okay i'm over it at this point <laughs> here. so i'm gonna show you guys the new room and the old one this is what the bathroom looks like so i told you guys This is what the room looks like. The dresser is like broken, but that's really like the only problem. I feel like, oh, there's like a hole in that wall. I'm concerned about honestly. Um, there's no light in here, which there wasn't in the other room either. It's just I don't know. It seems a bit dark. And this thing is kind of long for my liking, honestly. I know it's something I'm critiquing a lot, but look at this mattress compared to the other one. This was I'm critiquing a lot, but I'm spending like a lot of fucking money to be here, so that's why I'm critiquing so fucking much. I'm like really like looking all over here. Um, look at this mattress compared to the other one. My airway does make like so fucking dramatic. This is the point I'm supposed to have. I know this one is fucking broken. Oh well, man. Um, I feel like I need another light like right here because it's like really dark right here. I'm probably gonna put a lamp right there. Oh, that's wind. Um, this is the bathroom. I don't even know. It is what it is at this point. Yeah. It's like the same kind of um, drawers, but this drawer is broken. I will mention that. So coming in immediately is my room right here. I'm gonna show you all the problems I have with it. 
Um, I do want to show you guys what it looks like because I thought this room was better, but this one was just as messed up. I just have a problem with that. Um, this, oh, fucking hell. It's like a random thing to kind of have a problem with. But if you come in and immediately to your like left is my bathroom. Um, I'm gonna show you guys me cleaning up so I'm, I'm about to clean this whole thing because I decorated it. Then I left, so now I need to clean it. Um, back here I just have my towel. Have my mops. Um, a plumber, I mean a plunger, toilet brush that I got from Didi's. Towels that I got from Didi's. The stool I've been having since freshman year. A towel for when I got the shower. A little set I got from Didi's that comes with the shower curtain. Napkins, a toilet, a little sign to try to make it better. Toilet flushable things. I don't know. Some more tissue on the toilet roll. Um, this right here is peeled off. I don't even know, man. Um, this right here is messed up. The sleep port is but just none of these rooms are right. Um, it has a weird smell in here. I just put these fresh air fresheners in here and they've been working overtime. So I'm about to clean. Um, the mirrors are again all around the edges are messed up again. And the tub, there was nothing wrong with the tub. It was filthy though. Um, I need to clean it. Like I said, I haven't done that. So we'll come out of here and we'll go into my room. So this room is a bit different from the last. It has this hallway thing to walk down. And this thing, I was gonna put a little um, picture here, but I didn't get any command trips. So that's like that thing right there. Um, I wanted a light right here because the light is over there and it doesn't really reach over here, um, but it doesn't really brighten it up. So I put this right here in the light and some air, more air fresheners because like I said, it had a really fucking weird smell. This is my card of shit. Um, my hair stuff, my face stuff, my body stuff, extra stuff. I'm pretty sure that's more face stuff, but yeah. Then right here is my hamper. Um, right there is clothes I want to donate, so they're just right there for right now. This one didn't have like the other thing where you could put like all your books right here, but I don't know. It was like kind of different, I guess. This one is. A brown little thing. I don't know. It's like a stool. I just put my thing right there. Or like a, I don't know, a nightstand, I guess. Just put my thing right here. Put my stuff right there. I really need to get extra drawers though. Because these drawers right here, they're broken and they do not work. So it's like four of them. And they're really broken. I have to borrow some more stuff in here. And these are. <laughs> Excuse me. These are like miscellaneous stuff. This is a rug. I don't know. I'm trying to make it look as homey as possible. That's my bed. I don't really have a comforter yet. Because I haven't been sleeping here. I think I've slept in this building one night. Or two nights in the other room. I haven't slept in this room at all. Um, Here is this one. This is another rug. And that's like my curtain that I made a makeshift bed cover. That's my trash can I got from... Home goods, I think. It's my chair, I have my backpack on there again. This is my extra little storage I got. It wasn't as big as I expected it to be, but I just have my pajama shirts in there. This is my desk. These are like little things I'm planning on hanging up, but I have another can man strip, so they're not into candle. All that stuff, lap desk, all that good stuff. These are where I decided to store my books and my bookends for now. And again, come here, and this is the bag rack for right now i don't know um i would say like i'm showing you guys this because i thought this room was better than the last one but it seems to have the same issues if not worse um this is my closet and stuff um which is really annoying so i watch all these videos on youtube too telling me not to live in westmore but i did not listen to them so i would say if you like watch this video i really advise you not to live in westmore it's way over expensive you might have to go a little, little further 
but you can find something cheaper further and i would suggest that like just get a car or something this is a hole in the fucking wall that i don't know why it's there um yeah that's some shit it's like the same place that i was there too so i don't even know i'm going to clean now so i'm gonna bring you guys with me to my to clean so i'm gonna start in here in the bathroom to clean um let's put you right here so you can like see me um yeah that's where i'm gonna start at I feel disappointed to be honest but I feel like like just a lot of stuff has been happening in the world and in life so I feel very very disappointed I'm trying to like not be dramatic about it I guess but I feel like this is something I should be dramatic on I don't know but I'll just clean um just this right now and this is coming off i don't fucking know man but that's coming off like what the fuck okay one actual cool thing not even sarcasm this time i have this room with just a bunch of vending machines so in this vision machine they have like medicine and a whole bunch of random stuff like mucin and eggs um it's not a quarter right now though of course congestion stuff ibuprofen pepsi I can't remember that C band, that little morning sickness thing, the JT, everybody's saying that JT's birthday. 